tell us how Carleton University keeps these programs relevant and competitive. Yeah, sure. So that's a tricky one. Um, Carleton is a comprehensive university. So we offer over 150 programs that range from the arts to business to engineering and dozens of things in between. Um, but when I travel, there certainly are a few programs that I get asked about more often than others. And certainly that would be in the realm of engineering um, is hugely popular. And we have um, a really robust engineering faculty here at Carleton. Um, so with how things are moving these days, I'm seeing special interest in programs like our civil engineering, environmental engineering, um, for students who are interested in kind of the world of building and construction. But there's also huge interest, but also labor market need in areas of software engineering, computer science, cybersecurity, uh, computer systems engineering. You know, I was looking forward to what the most in need jobs will be in an area like Ottawa and Ontario in the coming 10 years. And, you know, software engineering is at the top of many of those lists. So that's a hugely in demand program and one that Carleton um, does quite well. And then we're also seeing um, kind of growing pro interest in programs like food sciences. You know, I talked about the experimental farm, but the interest in um, agribusiness and food and how all of this is evolving as, as we experience a changing climate and global warming. You know, how are we going to continue to um, to feed ourselves and the world? So that's a really good, interesting program. So anything in the world of environmental sciences. Um, and healthcare, you know, we're all still kind of reeling from what happened during the pandemic and wanting to make sure that we're um, supporting our healthcare system. So we have a really, really strong bachelor in health sciences that I'm seeing um, increased interest in internationally. And with our local partners here in Ottawa, we actually have, to give another Ottawa shout out, um, of the 40 best research hospitals in Canada, five of them are here in Ottawa. And we're collaborating with many of them in our health sciences program as well. So, um, you know, those are just a, a couple, couple programs that we are seeing high interest in. But like I said, there are so many, I could talk a lot about our, our arts programs and business but um, they're all doing really great things and our students are, are finding success after graduation, which we're really proud of. Yeah. In fact, our parents often ask us, what's the return on investment like? Why should I choose this university? And you know, so Carlton yeah. University has been quite a superhero among Canadian institutions. So uh, would you want to just answer that in maybe a couple of sentences? Uh, what's the return on investment? and? why Canam students do, we should choose to study at Carleton? Yeah, sure. So the return on investment, I mean, that's such a difficult thing to quantify, isn't it? Because the university experience, yes, many of us attend university with the intention to get a job after, but how do you really quantify the experience of university, right? So the friendships that you'll make, the experiences that you'll have, the network that you're going to create and develop while you're at university, that's just kind of unmatched. It's one of those experiences that is so unique that none of us will really experience outside of university. And that could happen also with you know, an exchange opportunity, a chance to go study in a country that you might not have otherwise ever lived. I can't do that as an adult anymore. Um, the experience to have these part-time jobs or interesting co-ops. So, you know, that I feel like I can't quantify for parents. I think they just kind of have to trust in the process and experience of university. However, I do know jobs, jobs, jobs. <laughs> we want to know that students are being successful. So, you know, there's different statistics for every program, but my director actually just shared with me yesterday to speak more broadly about the province of Ontario, that graduates from Ontario universities, 90% of graduates are working within six months. Fantastic. of graduation and that's the stat that's come to us from the province of Ontario so you know the prospects of work are really really high with 
a university um, a university degree. So so we're really quite confident in that. And you know we know that lots of families focus on okay this degree equals this career, law school equals lawyer, med school equals doctor, but a lot of those jobs are also in companies or positions that the parents might not think of. Human resources, international recruitment. I certainly didn't think that this would be my career outcome when I was at Carleton, but you know, the skills that I developed and that students develop at Carleton and at universities in Ontario and Canada, like the ability to communicate, to think critically, to write professionally, you know, these are all really important skills that will carry students through their their careers and, and their lives after graduation. Okay. Jessica, any recent campus makeovers or fancy initiatives to make international students go, wow, Carlton is where the party's at. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, let me think. So there's one um, kind of new, exciting building that's coming online. Um, there might be some party associations, but all, all within the rules and safe, of course. Um, and this kind of will bring me to the topic of housing. I'm not sure if you're going to ask, but... That's precisely are... what I was getting at. Ah, okay. <laughs> So you're just hand feeding it to me. Thank you. <laughs> so we are um, currently just putting the finishing touches on our 12th residence building on campus. Um, so we're really excited to be able to offer this additional housing and it is going to be a state of the art building that's going to have, you know, room for, for meeting rooms, conferences, um, additional food, but also just really, really comfortable spaces for our students to live. So yes, we are currently watching our 12th residence building um, kind of go up in stages, floor by floor. Is that going to be very expensive? Good question. So um, it's not going to be any more or less expensive than our other rooms. Okay. So right now, on average, for a um, double traditional room at Carleton, it's roughly about 12,300 Canadian dollars. Um, but that not only just includes a room, it also includes an all access meal plan. Excuse me, and we have a fantastic cafeteria that our students rave about. So for both food and housing on campus, uh, the cost would be roughly about that twelve thousand ish. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So international students are the spice of life at Carlton. Mm -hmm. So how do they add extra flavor to academics and culture, and how does Carlton foster innovation and entrepreneurship? Yeah, we love our international students here at Carleton. So we have about um, about 4,500 international students coming from over 150 countries. So it is a really, really diverse uh, population of international students, which I think just adds so much richness, not only to our campus where you know, we see people celebrating their own um, holidays and festivals and bringing in all of these um, different foods from around the world. But in the classrooms, one of the reasons that we are so committed to bringing in international students is because it creates more dynamic discussions. It brings in different perspectives when you're doing research or debating concepts. So it's really important that we kind of hear from um, you know different people from around the world who have different experiences. So that's really that kind of richness that international students bring to campus and that we all benefit from both international students and domestic students here in Canada. Um, now, the second part of your question about innovation, um, there is, so much going on. Um, you know, some of it happens kind of outside of the academics when we see students engaging in clubs and groups with when we have, depending on the year, it fluctuates 150 to 200 clubs. And some of them are very just fun. Um, you know, it might be dance, it might be fashion, but we also see students who are engaging in philanthropy and volunteer work. Um, you know, something that they might not really be able to do in their program. 
Um, but something I really do want to talk about is the Innovation Hub. So the Innovation Hub, which operates out of our Sprott School of Business, but it's accessible to all students across faculties. And it's a place where students can come if they have that entrepreneurial spirit and maybe they're looking to launch a small business or a new venture or just learn a little bit more about what that might take. In the Innovation Hub, they have access to mentors and coaches and business owners from around Ottawa who can help them, whether that's taking workshops in developing a business plan or seeking out funding, for example, um, or just kind of troubleshooting some issues that they might have had with their business. The Innovation Hub is a place for that, those entrepreneurs here at Carleton. So that's definitely sparking lots of exciting, um, exciting innovation there. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll keep it to that for now, but, but lots going on and students, I, and even the things that they're coming out of in their research and their co-ops, I'm always beyond impressed. Hmm. Okay, now it's crystal ball time. So what's the next big thing in international education for students? And how is Carleton University gearing up to ride the wave like a pro? <laughs> wow, you know, my crystal ball is a little dusty, so I'll have to think <laughs> about this one. Um, the next big thing for international students. Hmm. You mean like in terms of programs that we're seeing coming online or just the experiences in general? Yeah, experiences in general and what should they look at and, and, and what, what is Carlton doing to uh, to ensure that the experience is going to be even better than ever before? Uh -huh. Okay, okay, sure. So, yeah, I mean, as we've kind of referenced, this is um, a little bit of a time of a little bit of uncertainty, I think, with the recent announcements around study permits and how international students will be welcomed into Canada. So right now, I think for Carleton and many Canadian universities, the focus really is on making sure that we are creating a really supportive and welcoming atmosphere for international students. Um, so with, for example, the announcement of the CAP, mm. the international student or schools that will continue to welcome students, it's vitally important that we are ensuring we have strong housing set up for our students, as I alluded to before, which Carleton is, that we continue to make sure that we have really strong support systems in place. So I'll say what's next is that we need to make sure we're taking really good care. Um, so, you know, we're gonna continue at Carleton to offer free health and mental health counseling for our students, mm -hmm. that we're gonna continue to support our health services right on campus, that we're going to continue to have a really strong career services center, uh, that our international student services office will be there to continue to offer immigration support to students. So I think you're going to see a lot of universities really amping up those level of supports because, you know, a lot of these changes and announcements were made because some schools weren't really taking good care of their students. Mm -hmm. um, proudly, Carleton, we feel like we've always prioritized the care we offer international students and we wanna to continue to do a really good job. So if I can offer a piece of advice, I think it's this time, um, it's gonna be vitally important for students and their families to vet these schools. Ask the hard questions. Do you have on-campus housing? Will I have access to health care? Um, if I have trouble with my study permit, who can I talk to? Ask those questions and make sure that they have these resources in place. And that's why Can-Am is also such an important partner for students right now, because you can vouch for your partners, right? You can vouch for the schools that you work with and let families know the, the schools that are doing these things really well and we're going to take care of these students when they're all the way uh, away from home here in Canada. So um, that's my piece of advice for now. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. And I'll again remind everyone about the other piece of advice which you gave was to apply early mm -hmm. so that you are able to surmount all these challenges very quickly. Yes. So, 
Thank you so much, Jessica, and 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 I hope all the listeners have had a good understanding of what a Canadian university education is all about, and specifically about Carleton as well. Thank you, yeah. Jessica. Thank you for hosting me, Gaga, and I hope to see everybody in April. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. <laughs>